guys, it's Lee, and I am back today with another Universal Yums Yum Yum Box Unboxing Review Taste Test. Before we get started, I need to let you know that Universal Yums sends this box to me monthly in exchange for this review and unboxing video. I do not get paid extra to do this video. I do, however, have an affiliate link down below, so if you're interested in signing up for Universal Yums, or just getting more information like the pricing and the sizes of the three different boxes or like how many snacks come in the three different boxes. There are three sizes, like I said, the Yum Box, the Yum Yum Box, which is the one I'm unboxing, and the Super Yum Box. Universal Yums is a monthly snack subscription box and every month you get snacks from a different country or region. I love this idea. I love it for people who are homeschooling or people who just want to learn about other countries because along with the snacks you do get information about the other countries and it's really educational and fun. This is the December 2021 box and it's a little bit different. Um, this month they are doing a holiday parade of flavors and they have snacks in here from different countries around the world. So every month you get this card. Usually it is a map of the country the snacks are from, but since this is a parade of flavors, it's a parade. And then on the back, you have the Yum scoreboard where as you taste them, you rate them and decide which is your favorite, which is the worst, and which is the weirdest of all the Yums. And then it has this information box about the Yum Shop where you can go and buy your favorite Yums. And then there is a scavenger hunt. You always get a sticker and the booklet. It says seasons, greetings from everywhere. It says hungry for a trip around the world. We hope you are. Every other month of the year, we send a box from one country at a time. But this December, we've put together the best holiday classics from around the world for a one of a kind globe trotting trip. Fun fact, we started working on this year's holiday box last December. Then as always there is a recipe, the trivia train, all of the snacks, and the nutrition facts for them. It says even when you finish your yums play a game of I spy. It shows you a little Christmas tree garland you can make. Here's another recipe. And it says, revel in the memories of a yumderful 2021. And then it shows the favorite snacks from each month. On the back, more information about the Yum Shop. So let's get into this box and see what's inside. I'm going to go in the order it suggests this time. So the first snack up is called Green Leaf and Red Flower Popcorn. This is from Taiwan. Um, the booklet says, when something is a good match, Taiwanese and Chinese people will refer to it as red flower and green leaves. It's meant to signify how outstanding and conspicuous the pairing is. So this popcorn is green tea and strawberry. I love popcorn, so I'm hoping I love this. So here's what they look like. They're pink and green. And in the book it says to try them separately and then together. So I'm going to start with a green one. Doesn't taste like much of anything. I wouldn't say that's my favorite. So let's try a pink one. That's pretty good. It has a kind of fake strawberry flavor. But it's okay. So let's try them together. I'm not sure why, but it does taste better when you eat them together. That was actually really good. So yeah, if you get this box, definitely eat a green one and a pink one at the same time. Next up is this bag of chips from France. They are goat cheese and chili potato chips. In the book, it says that Europeans used to decorate their houses with bright red, green, and yellow peppers for the holidays. And then, you know, marketing kind of changed it to Christmas trees. They smell really good. It says a hint of spice. So 
So let's see. These are so good. I mean, it has like the tiniest little hint of spice, but not that much. These are amazing. I mean, I love cheese, so that, you know, how could it be bad? Yeah, the spice just hits you kind of like in the back of the mouth. I don't know how to describe it, but it's not bad at all. I'm a wimp when it comes to spices, so, or spicy, so that's really good. Next up are Bristow's Prosecco Bonbons. It says the bubbliest British candy there ever was. Let's try it out. This is what they look like. They're very chewy and full of flavor. I actually really like those. Those are good. Next up is another snack from France. These are popcorn flavored chocolate truffles. I love popcorn and I love truffles. I mean, and I love chocolate covered popcorn. So these should be good. Let me open them up. So I don't know if you noticed, but look at this little cat that's on the package. So cute. This is what they look like. Whoops. <laughs> Oh my God, these are so good. I love them. They're so soft, but then they have a little crunch to them. Delicious, love them. Next up is the plum cake, and this is from Argentina, and it has dulce de leche filling. This sounds really tasty. This is what it looks like. Oh, that looks amazing. The cake is so soft. This is delicious. I might have to go on the Yum Shop and see if I can find more of these. They are so good. My son's going to love this. I'm sure he's going to eat the rest of it before I get to it. Next up is Assorted Baklava from Amman, Jordan. I don't usually eat things with nuts in them. But this says it only has cashews, which I can eat. So let's give it a shot. My nut allergy is not life-threatening. So if there is something else in there, I'll just get an itchy mouth. This is what they look like. And uh, my son is going to love these. He loves baklava. In the book, it says that this is Jordan's favorite holiday treat. It's actually really good. Mm-hmm. I like this. It's not too sticky. I don't like the ones that are like covered in honey and you can't even pick them up. This is tasty. Next up from the UK are the Kent Crisps Roast Beef and Spitfire Ale. I've never had roast beef flavored chips, I don't think, ever. I don't think so. I've had their cheese and onion chips that are really good. That's what they look like. I mean, they just look like chips. They smell really nice. Here's one. I mean, they're pretty good. I don't know. I don't really taste roast beef and ale, but they're good. I'm not sure what, what it really tastes like to me. Yeah, I don't know. They're they're good though. Um, they just taste like kettle cooked chips with a little bit of flavoring on them. Mm, I like them. Next up, assorted Turkish delight, the famous confection in rose, lemon, and orange flavors from Turkey. Here's a piece. I'm kind of hoping to get um, lemon or orange and not rose. Pretty sure I just got rose. Let me try a different one. Hmm, this one was orange. Much better. It's good. It's very sweet, but it's good. I wouldn't say this would necessarily be my first choice, and right now, well, I don't know if it's the, I was gonna say it's the weirdest, but yeah, right now I would call this the weirdest one so far. 
The next snack is from Italy. It's Cappuccino Cream Coco Pandora. So this is a really famous Italian sweet bread or bread. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm just gonna break a piece off. Sorry about the Greyhound making noise in the back. Look at that. It does have cream in the center. I wanted to like it, but I don't know. It's kind of strange. Not my favorite, but my son will finish this as soon as I'm done with this video. He'll love that. It might be the coffee flavor for me. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's not my favorite. Next up, I started opening before I told you about it, um, is Bristow's Fudge. It's Christmas pudding flavor, and it is from the UK. I've seen Christmas puddings, but I've never tried one. Doesn't seem like something I would like. Um, but this is what they look like. I'm willing to give it a shot. I love how soft this is. Just breaks off easily. It's actually really good. It's delicious. Maybe I would like Christmas pudding. I don't know. But this tastes so good. Yeah, that's a hit. That's a surprise hit for me. And last up, cinnamon spice cookies from Denmark. It says crisp, sweet, and spiced with Danish molasses. I like molasses cookies. This is what they look like. They kind of smell like a ginger snap. Hmm. It's actually really good. I don't usually like these super crispy cookies. But this one's good. I'm a fan. It says baked for sharing. <laughs> Alright, so that's everything that was in the December 2021 Universal Yums Yum Yum box. This has to be probably up there with one of my favorite boxes from them. Probably because it's holiday themed and I just love, you know, December. So yeah, if you are interested in signing up for Universal Yums, definitely go check out my link down below and get this box for yourself. So many goodies in here. So I'm trying to decide which one is my favorite, which one is the worst, and which one is the weirdest. Um, for me, the weirdest, right off the bat, is the rose-flavored Turkish, Turkish Delight. That was weird. I wasn't a huge fan of the rose flavor. Favorite out of all of these? It's kind of tough because I liked a lot of them, but I'm going to have to say it's probably this fudge that I totally thought I was not going to like. I just, you know, had it in my head that that was not going to taste good, but it is so good. And my least favorite, um... Well, besides the weird, we're not, we're not, I'm not going to repeat because the rose flavored thing is also my least favorite, but I'm not going to repeat. But other than that, I would say it is this Pandora, which I really, really thought I was going to like. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Anyway, make sure you go check it out. This is an excellent gift. If you have someone that's really hard to buy for, this box would be a huge hit. I think, you know, pretty much everyone would love to get this. And there are three different sizes, so there are different price ranges. Um, so yeah, go check it out. The link, like I said before, is an affiliate link, and it's down in the description box below. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.